since the Acolyte debuted on Disney Plus over a month ago, we have seen the newest Disney Star Wars disaster get completely and totally rejected by the Star Wars fan base. We've followed Rotten Tomatoes and all these other places as fans have gone in droves to tell Disney and Lucasfilm this is not what we want, that this is garbage in every possible way. But the mainstream media has been dedicating to defending Disney and Lucasfilm and this dog shit from the very beginning. We saw the review bombing allegations. We saw how they tried to gaslight us about the premiere numbers, how those were actually really great, and then it turned out that they weren't. Well, once again, we've seen the mainstream media do that when it comes to ratings, telling lies about this show. Exclusive data suggests The Acolyte is a Star Wars success story despite the backlash. New data reveals The Acolyte is the second most successful Star Wars show of all time, outperforming pretty much everything else. Unfortunately, what they failed to disclose was they weren't actually talking about ratings. They were talking about engagement and how many people are talking about it. Unfortunately for them, just because people are talking about it doesn't mean it's positive for one and also doesn't mean people are watching. Well, now officially, finally, we have the real numbers. And as it turns out, people like myself and others, we've been right the entire time. This show is a massive flop. The Acolyte Nielsen ratings, Disney Star Wars fan base plummets by 75%. The data reveals viewership numbers are the second worst for Disney Star Wars. And yes, we finally have those Nielsen numbers, the official numbers that are recognized by everyone in the entertainment industry, the Nielsen ratings. And when you go to top 10 overall for the week that we finally have, it takes over a month for them to officially process these numbers, the official numbers for Nielsen for streaming. And look, uh, somehow, some way, not on the top 10 list. That's crazy. Not like there was a ton of competition, just old shows and reruns and things like that. You have to go over to original programming before you find the Acolyte, which is down at number seven at 488 million minutes watch. And keep in mind, this is for two episodes of the Acolyte, not a single premiere. And as we've said all along, this is embarrassing. This is bad. This is not a success. In fact, it's a $200 million flop. The Acolyte Nielsen ratings are in, and as expected, they're not good, with the numbers being the second worst for Disney Star Wars. And in fact, it's damn near the worst when you factor in a couple things. We already knew the viewership was lower than Ahsoka, but it's also been learned the viewership is lower than Mandalorian, lower than Obi-Wan, lower than Book of Boba Fett. The Acolyte only beat Andor in terms of viewership and not really by much. Another thing to keep in mind, over the course of Andor, you saw a bounce back with those numbers as more people came in and started watching. With the early data suggest... That is not the same for The Acolyte. Nielsen, the industry standard, released its streaming ratings for the week of June 3rd. The Acolyte premiered with its first two episodes on June 4th. According to Nielsen, the first two episodes of The Acolyte were watched for 488 minutes, or if we average the two episodes, that's 244. So there's a lot of things you have to assume in this, right? Hey, for each episode, we're going to take that in half and just assume for the total minutes watched, you divide it into 244 million minutes. Now, People could have watched the first episode and bailed after that one. We've had other premieres. You, we don't really get those exact numbers for who watched which episode. But when you look at these other Star Wars shows, you've got Mandalorian premiered one episode for 823 million minutes. Ahsoka premiered two episodes for an average of 414 million. Andor was watched for 624 million minutes watched, but it did debut three episodes. So the average is a little lower than The Acolyte, but there's some other things to keep in mind, which one, Andor was released almost three years ago, back when Disney had a different release schedule. These were released on Wednesday. So Acolyte had more time to accumulate those minutes watched, first of all. And like I said, Andor saw a bounce back in terms of numbers. I don't imagine we'll see the same thing for the Acolyte, but that's based on our early data. And another thing to consider, of course, is the competition. When the Acolyte debuted, uh, there is nothing on there. No big franchise, no nothing, no, no like, oh man, what a smash hit. There was no type of competition that was released when Acolyte was released. Now, subsequently, The Boys came out a week after that. House of the Dragon came out a week or two after that. You've had some other things. 
But for the Acolyte in general, that's why you have all these reruns, right? Look at these reruns that are just destroying them right now. There's not a lot of original content. Well, Andor had a little bit of competition, like Dahmer, which was one of the most watched things in Netflix history. Cobra Kai was out during that time. Rings of Power was out during that time. House of the Dragon was out during that time. These are the things that Andor was competing with, where the Acolyte had a clean slate. So yes, how crazy is it? The same mainstream media that's been lying to you each and every step of the way about review bombing, about why the show's being criticized, telling people that it's a smash hit. None of these things are true. It's an embarrassing ratings failure. There is no two ways around it. There's no way to spin that. This is a disaster for Disney Star Wars and has been the entire time. And now, over a month later, we finally have the data to back that up. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. As I said, the early data indicates that this is going to be a massive drop-off for the Acolyte as well, that it's not accumulating viewers, that it's actually continuing to tank. Let me know in the comments section below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.